There are quite a few misconceptions about in vitro fertilization or IVF fertility treatment. So let's talk about it. Hello, and welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Dr. Julie Buchanan, a fertility specialist from Queensland Fertility Group. And today we'll talk through the top five myths about IVF. So number one, IVF is often the first and only fertility treatment tried. False, you may not always need IVF. So we start by doing a fertility assessment to better understand your individual situation and then determine whether IVF is right for you. Other more simple treatments may include lifestyle changes and optimizing pre-existing medical conditions. This may be all some people need. However, if treatment is recommended, this may include ovulation cycle tracking, ovulation induction, or artificial insemination. A fertility assessment is an important first step to find out what treatment could be right for you. Two, you can do IVF at any age. False. Female fertility is highly dependent on age. Female age is the number one determining factor for a successful pregnancy. Although IVF does increase the chances of conceiving, the number and quality of the eggs collected in an IVF cycle decrease the older you become. Three, you're way more likely to have multiple births through IVF. False. Historically, treatment was commonly linked with multiple births or twin births, but this is far less common these days. This is mainly because the number of embryos being transferred back inside the uterus is restricted to one. We have increased technology and laboratory capabilities. And why do we want to avoid multiple births? There is a higher risk for the mother and the babies, predominantly prematurity for the babies and obstetric complications for mum. Number four, will IVF affect my ability to work? Not necessarily. In all fertility treatments, we try and make sure that your appointments can be done early in the morning before your usual start of work. For the egg collection procedure, you will be at the hospital for about four hours and you'll need someone to drive you home afterwards. This is the only time that we suggest taking off from work and not returning until the day after the procedure. Five, babies conceived through IVF will have a high risk of health issues such as low birth rates or developmental delays. This is false. The vast majority of studies have not found an increased risk of birth defects in babies conceived with IVF. Please be rest assured that a majority of babies conceived through IVF grow up to be healthy adults and compare well to those conceived naturally. One in 20 children in Australian classrooms are born via assisted reproductive technologies. So there you have it. To stay up to date with all things fertility, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.